in here. Happy Wednesday. I'm ex Oop, my light just went out. I'm excited to be with you tonight for our first Wednesday night live. Um, as I told you in our Sunday video, I am now switching to Mon sorry, Wednesday nights. Um, I feel like it's just going to work better in my schedule moving forward. So I'm popping on just a little bit after uh, 8. I was on a Facebook Live with Brenda Stern, so how exciting is that? Um, and my team had questions, so I'm popping on, making sure everything looks great. Let me just find me on my iPad, and oh, I can see you. I can see myself. I can't see you. Um, if you're here, say hi. Um, I'm excited to craft with you guys tonight. Tonight, we are making three projects. And after the Facebook Live, so probably tomorrow morning, I will post all the measurements for the Facebook Live. I will post um, the links for all the things, and I will upload it to my YouTube video. So how exciting is that? I'm just making sure my, uh, sorry, my lighting looks good. So if you're here, say hi. And if you're watching on the replay, let me know. As you know, my name is Ann Granger, and I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada. I live in Ontario in a small little town called Dorchester. Welcome to my craft room. I'm very excited to craft with you tonight. Tonight we are making three projects showcasing, let me grab it, the Soft Seedly, Seedly? Stamp set, can you see it? You'll see it when I flip my camera down. Um, and I have some coordinating products to share with you. So let's flip the camera and get started. And as we're going, I'm gonna be sharing some other things with you along the way. If you, anytime you have any questions, please let me know. Please make sure you like, comment, and share my videos. That's the best compliment you can give me. Um, and it also helps me provide these fun, free tutorials for you every week. Plus, it also helps us bring in more crafty friends into our community. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera, and we're going to get started. Uh, so just bear with me. And we are going to get started on our three projects. I'm excited about our projects. Um, fall is my favorite time of year. I love, love fall. So let me flip the camera and let's get started. So hold on. I'm going to flip you up. And, and you're going to look at my outside. We're going to go up and then down. Perfect. So it should be, um, you can see my my windows it's I can't believe how it's dark it's getting here sooner it's just crazy okay uh let me just make sure my camera looks great and if you guys are here and can say hi let me know um okay so tonight we are doing three projects using the soft seedling stamp set this is a red rubber stamp set and I'm showcasing with it I paired with it the harvest rustic harvest designer series paper let me just, uh, just want to move my, I really should mark my map there. Um, are we, the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. So I wanted to show you. And it's so funny when you're out and you see things in trends. We have a local garden center. Um, and I was in shopping there the other day. And they actually had um, a welcome sign that was almost done in this pattern. I was like, oh my God, like that is stamping up paper right there. Rustic Harvick, beautiful paper, has black hues, it has um, pumpkin pie, crushed curry, Cajun craze, cherry cobbler, and uh, I think it's daffodil. Um, and then so there's one pattern in the other. Beautiful pumpkins. So what I love about this is one side is your patterns and then the other side is black and white. So definitely a pattern that you could use throughout the hot, like throughout the season. So, you know, you're going to use this for your fall projects, like these ones here, but then you can flip it over and use these ones for any other projects. Like I could see birthday cards made out of this. You could color this with your stamp and blends. There's just so much you can do. So we are using that. And then we have some coordinating products that I'm going to share along the way. So, as I said, we're making three projects tonight. If somebody is here can let me know that everything looks good, that would be great. Um, I think it looks good on my end. I think maybe I just might need to move my camera up a little bit more. Um, and there we go. Okay, so let's get started and I'll share with you some of the other things along the way as we get going. So, one of the other products that we're using today is the Styling Shapes. These are my favorite shapes. I love anything that's stitched and these do not leave my table. I use them all the time. So we are using the circles tonight. 
I've already pre-die cut them just to save us some time, but I wanted to share those with you. So I'm going to put those in my bin. All right, the first project that we are making, oops, and I just dropped everything, is this card here. It was actually a mystery card um, challenge that my team member Cindy gave us, and I thought, ooh, I like the measurements, let's play along with it. And you might remember seeing this um, if you watched my uh, Kindness Gnomes um, Facebook Live, you might have seen this paper. I am using Cajun Craze. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You have a piece of Cajun Craze that is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. We have a piece of designer series paper that is two by one and three quarters. Oh, sorry. This is one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then this piece is two by one and three quarters. And then we have a stitched white circle. So the colors that I picked from this actually came right from the designer series paper. So I kind of went and see, seen what the designer series paper colors were and then I pulled my color palette from there. So I'm using this paper here. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna move our pieces over and we're going to bring in this piece and we're going to use the timeless Timeless War? No. What's this one? Time. Timeless? I, I, I usually write them on here and I haven't done that yet. Embossing folder. It is one of our 3D embossing folders. So you're going to need our big boss for this one. Because it is a 3D, we only need plate one, the embossing folder. Timeless, that's what it is. And then we need plate four. And then it tells you right there. So we're going to roll that through. So as I said in my videos, I will be going live on Wednesday nights. Usually my time will be 7.30. I was a little later today because I had a Facebook Live with my team and Brenda Stern. So and that was at 7.30. So that's why I was a little late. Just a reminder that if you see any of these products that you like or need to reorder, you can head to my online store. The easiest way to go is to go through my blog. So it's with Ann. Click shop now and when you're checking out. So this month, hostess code is right here. And you would be receiving from me the leaf labels and amber gems as my way of saying thank you. So what a nice surprise to get that in the mail. How fun would that be? All right, so we're going to bring in our paper. I'm going to get my adhesive. And hopefully, I think I might have to go grab another one. I think I'm going to run out. We're going to put this down like that. We're going to, I might just need to go grab another tape runner. We're going to tuck that one under like that. And we can actually go ahead and put this one on. Just like this. So that's going to look like that when we're done. And I'm just going to actually put a little bit more tape here on the side. All right, so we have our circle. So we're going to bring that in. And we're going to bring in the stamp set. So well, before I do that, I'm actually just going to grab myself another tape runner. So I'm going to leave you this stamp set here for the view in this beautiful stamp. The neat thing, the neat thing about this stamp set is it a dis it's a distinct stamp set, which means when you stamp it, you're going to have more distinct lines. It's going to be very deep and realistic. And trust me, when you stamp with this, you're going to see how beautiful this is. With this stamp, you're going to need a big block. I would recommend the block E. And then we're going to do something probably a lot of us don't do anymore. I know this was the first time I've done this in a very long time because I tend not to use these. I tend to use my stamping blends more than my markers. We are using our Stampin' Right markers. We are using Mossy Mellow and Cajun Craze. We're going to color on our stamp. And this is great for doing two tones. So I'm going to color my leaf first. And we're just going to color. And we're just going to leave it like that. Now, the ink will dry quickly on the stamp set. Not to worry because we're going to give it a little huff and re-moisten the ink. So that'll be good to go when ready to stamp. Then we're gonna come along and do the vine. I 
call these like maple. This is a maple. This obviously is a maple because they're maple keys. Um, and then this is a beautiful maple leaf, which is very popular here in Ontario. Um, and my favorite season is fall. I love everything about fall. I love the fall colors. I love um, the cool day, the cool mornings, the warmer afternoons, the cool nights, pumpkin, everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the pumpkin scones at um, Starbucks. Okay, so we have our ink. What I'm going to do is just give it a little huff. And then we're going to stamp down. And I just want to make sure I'm stamping the right way. So we're just going to give it a good stamp. And then it looks like that. How beautiful is that? I probably could have inked up my ink a little bit more on my marker, but that's okay. We'll do that for the next time. Just going to spray. So here's a neat thing if you're new to stamping. Uh, I would highly recommend our Stampin' Scrub and our Stampin' Mist. This is how I clean my stamps. And this mist actually conditions the rubber. So it helps keep your ink pack, your rubber stamps lasting a long time. So I'm just cleaning it off to the side here on my desk. All right, we're gonna put that aside because we're gonna use that again. I'm just gonna put this off to the side because we're gonna use that again. I'm gonna bring in my pop-up dots. And we're going to pop this up. All right. We're gonna hang, put that there, move that off to the side. And I'm going to bring in our linen thread. And I'm just gonna make a quick little bow. I just kind of tie a bow and then I really just lick that. I'm a glue dot. And I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, move my things out of the way. I'm gonna need those for later. And oh I need these. We're going to use the black matted dots. Embellishments. I thought they would work perfect with our colors. And we're just gonna grab our take a pick tool. So if you don't have one of these, highly recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite things in the um, for like tools. It's one of my must-have tools. Oh, and I actually forgot to put a greeting on this, but that's okay, because I'm going to show you what it looks like without a greeting, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with a greeting. So it kind of gives you two options. Okay, so there is our first card for tonight, and I'm going to show you the one that I made earlier on, just so you can see the difference. So the only really difference I did was I didn't emboss this bottom half. I only put my embossing folder in halfway so that I could put my greeting right here so I can send that as a thinking of you card. Oops, I lost my other thing. Where did it go? Oh, well, we'll put that back on later. Um, and then, so yeah, you could easily go in and write it and then just, I never put my insides, stamped my insides until I'm writing my message to the person I'm sending it to. So there is our first card for this evening. Let me move this off to the side. And we'll get to our second card. All right, so our second card uses, and I will post those measurements as I said for you guys. Okay, so our second card we're making tonight is um, a design I saw of my friend Susie Canfield. Uh, she, I really liked one of the lay, layouts she did for her cards. She did a floral card and I thought, oh, I really like that layout. I'm going to see how it will work. So we're using Mossy Mellow 5.5 by 8.5. We have a piece of Mossy Mellow that is 4 by 5 and a quarter. We have a piece of Cajun Craze, which is, I think this is 3.5 by 4.5. Don't worry about all the measurements. I will put these all down for you. You have three strips of designer series paper. They are one by four. We have a stitched circle and I have a spot already for my greeting. And I've already gone ahead and stamped out my, my leaf just to save us time and cut it out. 
look how realistic that leaf looks. It looks like we're just, it's on the ground, we're walking, you know, I love when you're walking in the ground and the ground and the crunchy leaves are going by you, under your feet. Okay, so let me, we're bringing back in the big boss here. So let's bring in the big boss and we're going to use another embossing folder. So this time we're using the Timber 3D embossing folder. And we're going to emboss our piece of cardstock. And we're going to go like this. Just a reminder, if you're watching this video tonight, today is the last day of celebration for 2022. Um, so you still have time. You have time till 11.55 mountain time to place your order so anything with a $60 or $120 order you're going to get free product um, still lots of great things the hippo dies are sold out so if you're looking for those they have already been they're sold so I know they were so cute okay so I have these pieces so let's get a go ahead and start assembling I really liked the combination of the black and what white with um, this the Cajun craze and the um, mossy mellow so I'm gonna use this pattern and what I'm gonna do so I've laid it down to make sure that I like it the way that it is and we're going to pop this down oops I just want to make sure that I space everything out good one down I hope you guys have had a great day I cannot believe we are heading into September long weekend honestly do not know where September August went like it just seems like we were at the beginning and boom we're at the end um, lots of changes happening around here but there'll be ex good changes uh, um, so yeah I'm excited for the fall routine I do as much as I love being home in the summer, the lazy daisy days, but I really do like routine. So I'm looking forward to being back routine. All right, so I just put dimensionals on the back of that. We're going to pop this up. We're going to um, bring back in this scrap piece of paper. We're going to bring back in our big stamp set and we're going to bring back in those markers. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ink up the green leaves so the maple keys and um i can't believe how dark it's getting earlier like i'm looking at my watch and it's almost 8 30 and it's pretty dark out already uh, just in their sign falls around the corner that's okay means more time for crafting okay let's uh Ink up our stamp here. So I am using our stamp and write markers. You cannot use stamping blends for this. You would ruin your you would ruin your um, rubber stamp and your blends um, because our stamping blends are an alcohol base. You cannot use them. You want to use our um, stamp and write markers to color on your stamps, like I am doing right now. Okay, so let me put those away. We're gonna give this a good huff. And then we're going to stamp again. Just like that. So there is that one. Pretty, pretty. Let me move that off to the side and then just clean that off. If you're here, say hi. If you have any questions, comments, please say hello. Let me know how your day has been. Um, all right, so we're going to bring back in our piece. We're going to pop this up. Remember, if you comment, like, and share in my video, I will pick, put your names in for this um, video, um, and I will pick a winner next Wednesday, and I will mail out a copy of these cards to somebody to get in the mail. How fun would that be? Okay, so I put that down and I've already re-stamped one. I just wanted to um, make it look like they were two hanging in the, in the tree. So we're just going to go ahead and add that one.
Now you can take, I'll do it on this one just so you can see, you can take a bone folder and you can just curl up your leaves just to make it look like they were on the ground there. Okay, so like that. We're going to bring in a piece of paper and we're going to get the stamp set. This has a lot of great stamps saying, so it says thinking of you, so grateful for you, and hello. So we're gonna use the thinking of you. And we're gonna bring in that and we're going to get Cajun Craze. So the one thing I love about Stampin' Up! is I love that everything coordinates. I can go from cardstock to designer's erased paper, to an ink pad, to embellishments, to ribbon, it all coordinates. It's my favorite thing. It takes the guessing out of creating. Honestly, you can just pull out a pack of designer series paper, sit down and start creating. You don't have to worry about anything else. All right, so I'm just going to trim this off. And I'm just going to trim this off here at the end. All right, we're going to bring back in our card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape up here and adhesive on the bottom because I want my project to lay flat. Otherwise, if I didn't, it would um, be unsettled. It would be uneven and it wouldn't look right on your project. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to pop, take this, oops, take this and I'm going to this down. I did get some more tape so let's see how close we can get. We're going to put this one down. I'll lay that and we're going to bring in those black matted dots. So I really tried to keep with the color scheme of uh, Cajun Craze black and mossy. Where did my take a pick go? Oh, I put it back in the drawer. So that you could see how the everything coordinates. Um, where did I put it? Let's see. Oops, look at that. It went right on my... That's not gonna... Oh, it's on my finger. Did you ever get them on your finger? Okay, that's not gonna work. There we go. All right, let's leave that out because I will need it. There is your, I'm gonna put these aside because I know I will need them for the next one. There is your second project for tonight, showcasing the soft seedling. I think that's that cute. I just love the colors. Let me move that away so I feel it's like shining on you guys. Okay, so there is our second project for the night. Now we're gonna move on to our third project. And our third one is actually a fancy fold. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, I actually saw this fancy fold on Jackie Bull, I can never say her name, Jackie B, she's a clomper stamper. Um, I was on her blog and checking, looking for some inspiration and she did some fancy fold cards and I was like, oh, I kind of like them. So what she suggests is you create a template so that you, out of old paper, old DSP, you write the measurements down. So what I do is I make this template and then I put it into cellophane and then I have it sit in my drawer. And the neat thing about that is when I'm ready to create and looking for a template, I literally just pull this out instead of searching online for an idea. It's right there, I love that idea. So this is the one I'm gonna share with you how to make. I'm just gonna open my measurements. So. What you need is we have a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock. It is five and a half by 10, and I scored it at four and a quarter and eight and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and score that. Definitely use a bone folder, definitely helps. And then just, I just need to crease that down here. There we go. Okay, so that's nice and flat. Then you have a piece of designer series paper that is four by five and a quarter. That is that rustic harvest we are using. And I am out of cohesive, so let's just switch that off. Oops. So I am using the stamping sealed. And then it comes in the refills. Just open 
open up my bag here. I'm going to have to remember before I do Facebook Lives to turn lights on in the house. It looks pretty dark in here. Except for my craft room. Oh my goodness. Alright, here is our uh, paper. Then we have a piece of paper that is, this measurement is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use the black side. As I said, I was at a local shop and I could not believe how this pattern, this color hue was in decor. I was like, that is crazy how Stampin' Up! knows that. Did you know that Stampin' Up! works two years ahead? Right now they're working on the 2024 holiday catalog, July to December. Blows my mind. Okay, you have a piece of paper here that is three and a half by seven. We're gonna score it at three and a quarter and we're going to actually put this right here and we're gonna decorate it. So right now I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I don't need that for a minute. So we have one of these to go on the inside. These whites are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Not to worry, I will write all these measurements down. Probably tomorrow I will upload the video and I will put the um, measurements for you and everything on this Facebook page. I have already cut us out three of the flowers stamped in Cajun craze. Just like I said, look how realistic those look. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to stamp this on here. And I'm gonna just bring in my scraps so I don't get my workspace dirty. And we're gonna stamp the bot the green. So we're just gonna do the bottom of it in mossy mellow. And I'm going to stamp that up here. Don't worry about that because we're going to cover that up. I'm actually going to bring in the little one, the little maple key um, right here. And we're gonna stamp that in mossy mellow also. Make sure you please, I, if you guys can't see, tell me to move things up. I'm truly trying to find the balance in my mat here. Sometimes I think, oh, I need a bigger space. Sometimes I think I do. All right, so we have that, and I'm going to actually stamp in Mossy Mellow just before I put this away. Hello, I thought that this would be a great card to send to a friend to let them know you're thinking about them. And I'm stamping that in Mossy Mellow just down in the corner. I love the font. Love that how Stampin' Up! is doing some that are script, some that are bold. I love it, love it. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and put this on here. Now, we want our card to open like this. We want our flap to open to the right. And you'll see why. So we can go ahead and put this down. Just like this. Okay. And, oops, I smudged out a little bit. Must have been my wet. Oh, I will cover that up with some leaves. Okay, we're going to put some leaves down here. Uh, so one there. And then we're going to put one up here, which will be good. I'm going to pop these guys up. And I'm going to actually, before I do that, add a little bit of curl to the leaves. So as I said, my new times will be Wednesday night at 7.30. If I have to go later, I will definitely let you know, but they will be Wednesday nights. Um, just trying to get into a new routine in the fall, so I figured Wednesday nights would be a great night. And as I said, I will be doing three projects each week, and it'll be a free tutorial for you because you're also going to get the measurements. So you can cut and stamp if you along if you have these products and if you don't you can order them if it's on your wish list I don't call it a wish list I call it a shopping list that sounds much better because we put things on our list and we eventually have to buy them so it's like a shopping list okay so I'm just going to overlap them here just a little bit just like that okay so let's bring this back in so we can finish it up how this is going to work is we're going to lay this on the side 
But what we need to make sure is that we don't put tape here because if I put tape here, guess what's going to happen? I am going to glue my card together. I literally only want tape on this side here and literally I'm just going to do two strips. I'm going to lay this down, put this up here and what I'm going to do is lay this down in the middle. Make sure it's in the middle, make sure it's straight. And then what it looks like is how fun is this card? So you're going to open it like this and then you're going to open it like that. So let's go ahead and put a piece of paper in here so you can see that. It's kind of like a double fold magic card. I don't even know if there's a name for this card. Um, if you know it, let me know. So look how fun this is. So, your purse, so you can write hello. You can write a little message in there and then you can write a big message so you can write like hello something in there you can decorate it and then you're gonna open it like that all right so let's finish this off so I'm actually gonna lay this flat just while I'm creating here but we're going to get ourselves a bow and I actually wanted this to be a double bow so I what I did was I took two pieces of the linen thread the same size and I just Pulled that, made my bow the way I liked it, and I went with the linen thread because I thought it looked rustic. This, as I said, this uh, the paper I went with was rustic. So we're gonna put that there. Let me just put this away. Okay, so uh, I need to find my black things and bring. going to oh, let's close this back up and we're just going to put some dots I almost need a couple hands for this and put one down there okay so let me just oops, put this away so I don't stick my hand in it and then I will show you my project Okay, forget it. I'm going to do that after the video. Okay, let me just close this up. So there you go. There is our last fancy fold using this unique card. What do you guys think? How fun is that? I'd love to know. Do you guys like this? It's a really unique fun fold. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and unique. Like, you cannot buy that in a store. That's the neat thing about these art cards. They're handmade and they're made with love. And everybody will display these on their mantle because they're just beautiful. All right, so there's card number three. Card number two. And card number one. So let's just... So one, two, and three. Ah, oh, thanks, Leslie. I'm glad you like that fun fold. I know how much you like fun folds, so I thought you definitely. Oh, uh, thanks, Melissa. Hi, Mary. Oh, thanks for saying you love it. Um, oh, thanks, Catherine. Okay, so there is our three cards tonight showcasing the soft seedling stamp set. And I'm just going to put that there to hold that down. Actually, I might have to do a little bit up. And the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. Um, so that is that. Now let me show you, just so you know where you can find this. You are going to find this in the July to December catalog. And you can find the Soft Seedling right here on page 53. So it says right here beside it that it's a distinct stamp set, which means it has that deep deep etching so it looks realistic like that to me just looks like we're walking in the forest um and then the rustic harvest let's just show you that um this is the rustic harvest suite and here is the designer series paper so that was the paper that i paired with it um it's a beautiful color hue and like mary Malone. Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Mossy Mellow, Early Espresso, and Black. But I chose to go with Black, Mossy Mellow, and Cajun Craze as my color combination. 
All right, and just a reminder, today is the last day for celebration. So a $60 order, you can order a level one. $120, you can order a level two. The Aspen dies are sold out, but there's still time to place that order if you need anything and get something for free. Oh, and I actually forgot to show you in all my mess here, I have some other cards to share with you that are done with this sample. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there to hold that down. I have a couple other cards to share with you that I made with this because I always like to show you other things that you can do with the products. So here's another card made with this stamp set. This one uses Great Granite, Mint Macaron, and Cherry Cobbler. How fun is that? I stamped the pieces individually and then just pieced them together to create that. It almost looks like there's leaves on the ground. So I have that one. This was one that I received in a swap by my teammate Jenna. So I thought, oh, I was looking through my swaps and saw this. So uh, she used the leaf embossing folder and she was able to, she stamped on our ribbon. How fun is that? And it's also kind of like a fun fold. And then, of course, I had to try some simple stamping with this. Um, and I'm all about the bright colors in the fall. I love trees that are bright orange, yellow, and re red. So I went with this one. And there you go. That is my cards for you tonight, showcasing the soft seedlings. So these are the three we made, and then these are the three just showcasing. I'm just gonna put that there so it doesn't pop open. If you're watching, just joining us, please go back and watch the replay. Make sure you like, comment, and share. As I said, I will pick um, a couple winners to send a couple of these cards to um in the mail so once i let you know the winners you can let if i don't have your email at your mailing address you can let me know and then i will pop one of these in the mail for you how fun is that all right everybody oh look i'm i need to move my camera over more so i'll know for next time to move my camera over hmm. look at that okay so there's all of our projects how fun is that okay so here is a couple recaps we use soft seedling which is this stamp set here we use the Rustic Harvest Designer Series Paper, which is right here. Beautiful pattern. Um, very rustic, which is gorgeous. Uh, we use um, Cajun Craze, Mossy Mellow, and Black. That was my color scheme for my projects tonight. You will find all these measurements and supplies. It will be listed on this post um, tomorrow morning. I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Um, and I will upload this video to YouTube and it will also be on my blog. So if you don't follow me on social media or on my YouTube or Stamp With Ann blog, make sure you do because you're going to get, uh, you're going to get a recap of these. Plus you're going to get this video. And then the neat thing is make sure you sign up for my newsletters because every week on the Sundays I do a weekly roundup where I link you back to the projects that I've used. So in case you haven't visited my blog, you'll still be able to see all the fascinating samples that I've made with that product. Because the more you see a sample, the more ideas you have when you sit down to create. And that's all about what I want to share with you, is giving you plenty of supply, um, samples so when you sit down to create, you have a great stamping experience. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your evening. Enjoy this last few days of summer. I'm trying to soak it all in. Honestly, I don't want it to end, but um, I do look forward to the fall routine. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys next week. Oh, yeah, quick, just before we leave. So next week, I will be showcasing you the charming sentiments and their matching dyes. That's what my next week's focus will be. And our Facebook Live next Wednesday night will focus three products using this product. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks for stamping with me. Bye, everyone.